Good morning, everybody. Let's jump right into this. Market's about to open in 20 seconds. So I would say main watches for me are going to be OCEA. This is going to be a play from yesterday. Holding up, feeling a breakdown right from the watch list. Looking for that 640 confirmation for it to test the mid sevens, whereas that's going to be the next resistance area. Um, market just opened. So yeah, I'm looking forward to get to the mid sevens. So let's see how this confirms. Give it some time. That open price lines up right around the 638 previous high day. So we'll see how this sets up. But then I'm also IBDA, can't forget about this. I'm in this one at 145,000 shares overnight. Capping up a little bit, but no volume, like still nothing from this thing. So just a waiting game here. And then I knew I had SRNE on watch in the watch list, but it, I didn't even notice till very late yesterday that this is actually going to be listed today. So completely ignore SRNE. Yeah, today so far a boring morning. As you can see, scanners have pretty much nothing on them. They have these three. So out of these three, let's see which one holds up. Four, I suppose. Fails to break down and claims key price levels and squeezes out. This one's holding up decently so far. Oh, there was that push over seven. Not bad. Damn. Okay, looks like this is gonna do what I want here. What a call. Looks like it's about to get halted. What a call. Okay. So I guess I can ignore that now. I wasn't able to get it. Didn't consolidate as much as I wanted. Recognize the strength. But I really don't like to trade right at the open pretty much. It's usually pretty chaotic. But solid call right here. Getting pretty impatient with this thing here. Not much volume. I really might just dump it. But yeah, right now I'm not too excited about anything. IBDA might be selling this year soon. I don't like how this is setting up. It's just the volume is so exhausting. You can't do anything. Uh, VBLT still trying to hold up. Let's see what the price. Call it 22. Holding it right.
right here. We'll see how much selling pressure keeps coming through. But if this is it, that's looking pretty bullish. This thing could head to after this resistance area. We can easily see 10 really is the next key resistance area. Besides, of course, every whole dollar, half dollar area where it might have some trouble. Um, but going off the chart where there are definitely key levels. So this would be approaching all time highs being at 10. Still a bit below it. But um, right here where this opened up, definitely going to be having some bag holders and shorts who are, who are betting against it day one. Might have them come back here into the 10 region. So maybe if this fails to break down after it gets unhalted, show some consolidation, a new base where I can risk off of because right now, I really wouldn't know what to risk. Six and a half day low here would be way too wide of a risk. So be patient. Wait for another opportunity to set up if it does set up. Um, but yeah, this thing does have some range. It can keep going. Nine and a half, ten ish. And in this case here with IBDA, worst case scenario, I'm taking a $50 loss. I'll be risking red green. Can't hold up. We take that small loss after being up about 100 bucks, which isn't much. It's still annoying to see that it was able to gap up a little bit, but not follow through. BLT looks interesting right now. Continues to hold up here. I'll give this some more time to show me that it's confirming 22 cents, but at the moment, I'm really liking this. Key level around 22, which is up decently. Failing to break down, double top pre market. So you got some people shorting this, likely, who are up a little bit, but not much, just about. 10%, a little bit more. So let's see daily chart here. Let's see. 19 and a half is a key area. Roughly around 22 over here. Um, after that, we're looking for a test of at least 27. If it can fail to break down here and hold up, if it can, but not that exciting of a morning here. OCEA was a top play and just did it all pretty quickly. Should be on halt pretty soon. Yeah, halted at 32. <clears throat> I guess this is gonna take a little bit longer. Usually it's about five minutes, I thought. The liquidity halt. Sometimes they go up to ten minutes. Um yeah, we'll see what that does. We'll just wait till it opens up to see if it fails to break down. Kinda digging BL the BLT right here. Decent risk reward. Seeing off 
about 21 and a half. Anything here? Am I going with a four thousand dollar starter? Or not four thousand dollars? Excuse me, four thousand share. My bad. Yes, purchase. All right, I'm in at twenty three. Four thousand shares. Small position. About nine hundred bucks. If we get some higher lows, I would like to add into this. But the way it kept holding around 22 cents which is right around open price looked very nice got it getting a little bit of volume some demand here so maybe this can trigger a squeeze now it's increasing a bit in volume um so yeah Risking about a penny and a half. I'll be losing sixty dollars on this thing if it doesn't work out. IVDA trying to hold. I'm really considering just cutting this. It's just exhausting. This isn't how I trade the multi-day bounce. Let's go here. Series volume, small at least, float, not too small, but also this isn't an expensive play. This kind of works out. If anything, I'll just be waiting for that 19 cent breakout on SYTA. Besides that, I think I'll just be patient. Overall market conditions seem to be shifting. I've been saying that a bunch recently. Oh, wow, look at OCEA. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Wow. <laughs> what a misplay. That sucks. ANCE here, trying to set up for a breakout. Decent volume today. If any day is going to do it, it looks like it could be today. 
I definitely am going to be approaching things a little more cautiously, be a bit more patient. <clears throat> and really wait for things to prove themselves to me. Or if I am going in, it's going to be super small size until I get convinced it's going to hold up. VBLT here. I want to add, but I really would like to see more volume behind this. Because if volume is going to be fading, this is likely going to end up failing. So no point in adding to that. If we get a higher low with some decent volume behind it, like this here, what we're doing now, it's a bit more encouraging. Strong. I'm considering chasing this here for my ad. Yeah. Oh. Still going to wait and see to see how this sets up. If we come back with some decent buying on this candle, I will chase it. That'll bring me up to roughly the high 23s, 24 ish area for an average, risking off 23 at that point where this proves it's holding. So I'm going to round up and say the average is 24 cents. It's just under that. So just to make things easier, I'm going to call it 24 cents. I'll be risking one penny. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah? Let's see. This is a fake out. It really looked like strength was starting to come back in this play. That's why I chased. That is massive selling. Is there some inside news I did not notice? Okay, so at the moment, looking like I'm going to be losing $80 on this thing, maybe a little bit more with some slippage, if I don't get exactly what I want to get out at. Yeah. All right, I'm out at 2278. Kind of unfortunate how that worked out, um, but that's why we usually like to buy on the dip. I did chase in this. I was well aware of that, so it didn't work out in this case how this set up because I had, what do you call it, in the back of my mind from yesterday, went where I hesitated and I paid the price. So considering I was in with small size, my risk was pretty tight on VBLT. I decided why not, let's give it a shot. But as you can see here, just another good lesson on just not buying on the way up and buying it when it's dipping and confirming. Because if I had more size down here in the mid 23s, rather than bringing my average up to the 24 area, 
the loss could be a little smaller, but overall pretty manageable. OCEA keeps holding. I won't be shocked if this ended up ripping higher. IVDA up a hundred bucks on this thing here. Here we go, IBDA. Come on. Let's tighten up that spread. We need the volume for that to happen. So this is still just a waiting game, seeing how it sets up. Just a boring morning, besides OCEA. There's that failure to break down. And now you're getting that rip. Getting to areas we talked about, getting close to nine and a half, ten. Where we said that's the next key resistance area. So OCA just started ignoring it after I fit. It just took off way more than expected. Just got emotional about this after it just ripped. There was a quick little opportunity here, but whatever. IVDA, very nice. Up 150 bucks on this thing. Seeing some volume increase. Glad it didn't sell earlier. That would have been very, very annoying to see this rip back. If we get a higher low confirmation of 155, I might consider adding. Now that we're getting a little bit of volume, if we can just keep getting higher lows, that could be nice. <coughs> Incredible. Uh, there's play of the day. I don't know if we'll be getting anything else. As the market has been pretty shaky, we're getting one, maybe two plays in a day. Um, not more than that. Yesterday it was WINT. Looks like this morning here, OCEA. Sucks that they were both missed, but both on watch just didn't shape up the way I wanted and didn't feel comfortable trading both. So let's hope IVDA does what I want so I don't end up butchering my day with some emotional trades. <coughs> Shocked to see this thing still holding up, holding open price at support. That could lead to something. If this kind of volume doesn't crack this thing, that could squeeze shorts out. Um, but usually something like this, typically a precursor to another move lower. So 
kind of be patient if before getting back into VBLT. So far this week has been not that great for me. A couple of red days. We'll see if we can bring it back today. 5VDA here keeps pushing through. We'll definitely make up the nearly $90 loss on the VBLT. <coughs> So it's all on AVDA right now. If it doesn't really work out, I'll probably take the rest of the day off. It's been an iffy week, missing plays left and right. And the ones I am taking end up being losses. So sometimes it's best to just put yourself on the sideline if you know you'll likely be emotional or feeling frustrated. Yeah, nothing really moving. Moving. Just OCEA. Come on, give me a burst to the 170s, 180s. That's really what I'm looking for. There we go. Getting right to that 10 area that we talked about. Incredible. <clears throat> Absolutely incredible. At this point, honestly, I really hope this thing just keeps on ripping. And I could have an opportunity next week on a multi-day bounce. And it hits the backside. What an annoying play. IVDA getting a bit of volume today. Already doing about half of what I did yesterday. So at this rate, I definitely should start getting some more volume and pushing higher. Getting a little bit of perking demand so far, higher lows. It might have a hard time because of this 158 region from the other day. Um, so we'll see. If that really stuffs the play, but right now it looks like it just might give it a hard time. If it confirms the high 150s, I think we get a clear shot to the 170s, 180s region. 30% from previous close would line it up with, what, 182? So, let's see how this continues. But right now, not too bad of a play. If I did have some decent size in this thing, I would be out by now. If I only got a thousand shares at 145, we'll, we'll give this some time. Come on, let's go. Almost at 150%. Ugh. How annoying this is. Um. Is 
I just want to get halted here. Yeah. I'm not going to get into that play today. This is a pretty boring morning. I might just log off here and just alert when I end up selling IVDA. I don't want to just keep going back and forth between OCEA and IVDA. I am, I am. Is that what I'm doing? Ooh, nice, nice. Possible setup here with a breakout in the mid fives. Ah, uh, metamine. No volume. Um, yeah, we might be logging off here soon. Not much to see. IVDA, I'll just put a stop loss. If this thing really comes back, it just starts cracking below 150. I'll just cut it for a scratch, a little gain. Um, so OCEA, fantastic call. Tweeted it this morning. Looking for that confirmation of 638 which it gave pretty quickly and that led to this whole entire rip who knows how far it can go I am just going to wait for the multi-day bounce now I don't want to get emotional and chase this any higher um, VBLT we are just cracking got stuffed double top was in at just under 24 cents, took about just under a penny, or just over a penny a share loss, so about $85 loss on that one, uh, so was a little emotional here, this one could have been a lot smaller of a loss, VBLT, but what are you going to do, got a little emotional, OCEA really just pissed me off this morning. IVDA, a little frustrated. This thing is not shaping up the way I had in mind. Just a very slow, low volume bounce play. Um, and that's just kind of been the pattern of the week. Missing out the ones I'm looking at for good plays. And then ending up taking just absolute crappers. So I think we'll just wrap it up here. I'll alert IVDA when I sell it, but congrats to anybody who took OCEA, or that's kind of it, nothing else to congratulate over, <laughs> everything else sucks, uh, yeah, we'll just wrap it up there, we'll be back later with a video lesson, going over the lessons of the day, we'll see if anything shapes up later, it's only been half an hour, wasn't into the day, um, so yeah, I'll alert anything on Twitter, or maybe make a video. There hasn't really been much late day for me, so I haven't been making any second video lessons.